everyone, this is Zay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus y into tan x equals to y square secant x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y tan x equals to y square secant x. Consider the given equation as equation 1. We can write the above equation as dy by dx plus tan x into y equals to secant x into y square, which is Bernoulli's equation. in y, right? We know that the Bernoulli's equation in y is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n. So by comparing these two, we can say that the given equation is Bernoulli's in y, right? Where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants, and n, here you are having n, right? So this n is a real number such that n not equals to 0 and not equals to 1. Fine. Now by comparing these two equations, we'll get p equals to tan x and q equals to secant x. And by comparing n's, or simply by comparing y square with y power n, we'll get n equals to so if you notice you are having p and q are functions of x alone because it does not involve any other function other than x. Right? So here we have p and q are functions of x alone and n equals to 2. Right? Here we have a condition that n must not be equals to 0 or 1. Right? But we have n equals to Now, we have to reduce this equation to linear equation, right? So, just compare the Bernoulli's equation with linear equation. Here we have an extra term, y squared or the function of y, right? Here p and q, this is a linear equation y and this is linear equation, sorry, this is Bernoulli's equation in y, y and x we can see. P and Q are functions of X and here we have an extra function, function of Y, right? But in linear equation, we don't have any other function other than Q. So what we'll do is we'll simply eliminate this Y square from the Bernoulli's equation to get linear equation, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation with this y square or we can multiply the whole equation with 1 by y square. Whole equation in the sense LHS and RHS with 1 by y square. So you can do any of either you can multiply with 1 by y square or you can divide with y square. Then we'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus tan x into y by y square equals to secant x. y square gets cancelled, right? Or simply you can say that you can take this y square to LHS. Simply bring this y square to LHS, okay? Then you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus tan x into 1 by y equals to secant x. Here 1 by gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by y. Consider this equation as equation 2. So here you are having 
dy by dx plus tan x into y square equals to secant x into y square, right? Right, tan x into y. So as I said you earlier, we can multiply this with 1 by y square or divide with y square or simply you can take this y square to LHS. What happens if we multiply this equation with 1 by y square? See? Your y square gets cancelled and in the LHS you will get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus tan x into y by y square equals to secant x, the same thing. We are having equation 2, 1 by y square into dy by dx plus tan x into 1 by y equals to secant x. Now let 1 by y equals to some u. Now we have to differentiate it on both sides with respect to x. Derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. This is a direct process of differentiating this with respect to x on both sides or we can choose the exact method chain rule using chain rule du by dx equals to derivative of u with respect to x equals to see here you are having function of y so we will include differential dy in between okay now let's find du by dy since u equals to 1 by y differentiate on both sides with respect to y Then we'll get du by dy equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Now you can replace dy by du by dy by minus 1 by y square. Then we'll get du by dx equals to minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. The same thing. Okay. So instead of Using chain rule, this long process will directly differentiate like this. Okay, now multiply with minus on both sides, then we'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus dy dx, right? So when 1 by y equals to u, we have 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx, right? Now let's replace 1 by y and the first term. This becomes minus du by dx plus tan x into u equals to secant x. Okay. See here you have minus symbol but the coefficient of dy by dx is plus 1 but here you are having minus 1. So what we will do is we will simply multiply on both sides with minus then you will get du by dx minus tan x into u equals to minus secant x. Now, compare this equation with linear equation du by dx plus p into u equals to q, right? So, we have reduced the given equation to 
linear in u second by comparing these two equations we will get p and q where p equals to minus tan x and q equals to minus secant x. Now we need to find the integrating factor. Since we know that the integrating factor of linear equation in u is given by e power integral p into differential dx. So here p and q are functions of x alone. It does not involve any other variable. Only we have x here so we can say p and q are the functions of x alone. Okay, now we will find the integrating factor. Integrating factor equals to e power integral p dx is equals to e power integral copy equals to minus tan x into dx. Now, write this minus outside the integral, you will get minus integral tan x dx since we know that integral tan theta d theta equals to log secant theta then you will get e power minus log secant theta is equal to e power log secant theta sorry here x is the variable right inverse which is also we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then from this we will get function of x secant x whole inverse that is reciprocal law secant x our integrating factor is 1 by secant x Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So the general solution of the reduced equation that is linear equation in U is the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is you can use this formula to find the given okay to find the general solution to the given equation okay u into integrating factor 1 by secant x equals to integral q for q equals to minus secant x into integrating factor 1 by secant x into differential dx plus c is equals to minus integral secant x by secant x into dx plus c which is equal to minus integral dx plus c secant x gets cancelled and you will get 1 by minus integral dx is x plus c so now you have u into 1 by secant x equals to minus x plus c we know that reciprocal of secant x is cos x then the above equation becomes u into cos x equals to minus x plus c now replace u since u equals to 1 by z okay 1 by y you get 1 by y into cos x equals to minus x plus c or cos x by y equals to minus x plus c is so required solution so we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.